What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dev, Island Boy Dev, to be exact, man. I'm on my comfortable shit. Day four, no AC, still hot as hell in my room. I decided to take the long sleeve off. But yeah, man, today is going to be a review. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for the video. You guys know how to get the video. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but go ahead, head over there. That's where the full video is on Twitch as well. But um, we're gonna talk about the Life of Pierre Four Deluxe version now. I don't know why Pierre decided to call this the deluxe version. I see a lot of artists are following the trend nowadays where, you know, they're labeling it as deluxe, but really it's not deluxe. It's just another album entirely. Um, you've seen Uzi Vert do it. Gunna's basically doing it. You saw Nav do it. Um, and now you're seeing Pierre Bourne do it. I don't know if it's something with the algorithm or um, with the streams, how it works. I don't know how it works, but apparently he decided to go off of his album Life of Pierre 4 and continue that on this year. Now, if we had to compare two projects, I would say that Life of Pierre 4 Deluxe is definitely the wavier and um, kind of just the more style, I would say, for Pierre Bourne from what I've listened to him since becoming a fan of him last year. I will say my favorite track still from um, you know TLP4 is still Ballad. Ballad is still my favorite track, hands down. You slow it down fast, no matter what you do, it's still my favorite track. I think he did his thing, but I feel like you just get a a, a certain flow in, from start to finish on this deluxe project where it kind of just... You know, it, it's it, it, exactly that. It's one big track. I'm not having really, I'm not having high expectations from Pierre Bourne. I expect him to kind of just give us, you know, his his top tier production. At least in this era, everybody loves the sound that uh, Pierre Bourne gives. And I just expect him to kind of just rap and, you know, make sounds over it. And if I'm going to vibe, I'm going to vibe. If I'm not, I'm not. For the most part, you know, when I listen to it in the car, um, it definitely was better than listening to it on Twitch. When I listened to it on Twitch with you guys, man, it was kind of just like, hey, uh, what, what was really going on here? I feel like he still needs to find his identity in music, man. He really doesn't. Um, a lot of you guys also said in the Twitch chat that, you know, he's the one that taught Cardi how to do Cardi. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just going from what the subscribers are saying. But if that is true, that's kind of crazy because I feel like he's had something that is special. Why give it to somebody else? Because I feel like the production is there like easily like in terms of production now he's a top 10 even top 5 producer right now in the last 2020 2019 i will give that to pierre born but there's times on this project where he sounds a lot like cardi where he sounds a lot like uzi he sounds like another trap artist just really lost in the era that's what he really sounds like um from time to time now what really stands out though is those sounds and all the mixes that he can put together and all the different <laughs> you know like it just it comes all together and i love the playlist vibe of the um of the album how it just from start to finish all the transitions he had at least two transitions in each track and then towards the end of the track going to the next track i felt like that was a great flow you know just kind of just you know um if we go from sauce boy sus sauce boy sauce girl deja vu um, you know, TBH, tracks like that, Fortune Cookie, these are tracks that I was enjoying in my car because I felt like the bass, the 16 speakers gave me that experience. Now, look, I would have been cool with him just be calling this, you know, the life of Pierre 5, but again, I don't know what really goes on with the stream numbers and how it works, but I just felt like it was kind of just like, why release a deluxe the year after? It makes no sense. Now, if I had to compare the two, I would say the life of Pierre 4 is better than, um... Uh, the life of Pierre regular. Uh, I just say that there was a lot of high moments. There's I wouldn't even say there's a lot of high moments. The high keys in the first album is just high with ballad and you know tracks like uh, what's the other track that I really fucked with? Uh, Racer. Racer was the other track that I really fucked with. I felt like the highs were there, but it was just a consistency. I felt like with this project again. I'm not saying that Pierre Bourne is the next Tupac. I'm not expecting him to give me Eminem bars. I'm not expecting that. I know exactly what Pierre was trying to do. He was experimenting, so I took the project for what it was. I opened my ears, and I kind of just vibed with it. That's exactly what I did. I vibed with it, so I didn't really take it too serious. Now, if you guys want to listen to my favorite track, I would say my favorite track had to be Sus Boy. Second, second half of Sus Boy. Hey. So I, I know it's called Sus, but I called it Sus, Sus Girl, Sus Boy, Susio Gang. Y'all know, shout out to Susio Gang out there. I felt like, man, that was probably the best transition and the best track on the Deluxe, in my opinion. You guys get in the comments below and let me know what was your favorite. 
I just think that, again, man, Pierre, once he finds his identity, I know he's been doing these types of tracks forever, but when he finds that sound to fit him, you know, to be a, you know, a single artist and not really have to be just a producer, I honestly think he can, you know, the sky's the limit for him because I love his production. His production is always going to save it for me. No matter what he does, his production is always going to play a key part in why I'm going to listen to a Pierre Born project. So, that being said, man, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. If I had to give the album a rating, you guys ask me a rating. You guys don't know why you guys are so infatuated with ratings, but 6.5 out of 10 is what I would give it just because the production is so strong. But it does get a little repetitive, and the lyrics can get a little lackluster throughout. Um, I mean, look, I'm not saying I'm listening to him for the lyrics, but when you say this some shit, like, where I'm kind of just like... Okay, well, I heard that, so, you know, I gotta, you know, that still has to go. Like, look, I'm not gonna dock you, but it's documented. You know what I'm saying? See, that's bars right there. Anyways, get the comments below, man. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to follow me on social media. Join here, and uh, until the next time, it's me with Dev. We are out. Peace.